Oh, so hi there, Chris and Alan. It's great to see you here at the OT World Conference. Good morning. So, uh, Good morning. Yeah, thank you. So you've been a real supporter of IC2A from gold membership throughout, so our loyal supporters. So we really appreciate your partnership, and we've done some great work this conference with the socket uh, survey and designing that. So. And you, why are you here? I mean, are you uh, presenting or what, what's your job here? <laughs> um, we, uh, CrossFit is the, the first company in the prosthetics industry to create a fully digital solution for the fitting of prosthetic sockets. And as the survey showed, and as many of your members will also confirm, the socket is uh, probably the most important part of a prosthesis. It doesn't fit, it's useless to use. And so we developed this solution and we're now trying to introduce that into the industry. We've been in business about five years. Uh, we have some early adopters. We've invoiced about 15 customers, but after this, we hope to really take off. Oh, that's fantastic. Equally, we had a very good meeting with our IC2A think tank and uh, actually had some very interesting developments on in how we could get the uh, voice of the users and amputees actually heard and information shared in a correct way because there is a big change that's needed and I think it felt in the meeting yesterday like that change is happening now. So very exciting times. Yeah, it is. And you seem to be of the philosophy that doing things together is really uh, the way to go rather than having a, a user group or a, or a corporate entity trying to do something by themselves. You really seem to be integrating with everybody here. It's fantastic. Yeah, well, if, if one yeah. takes some of the old adages, more the merrier, they yeah. actually do apply. Yeah. Um, as long as people share values, um, everybody has, if you have the same end goal, you can work together, even if you're competitors. Competitors can be collaborators if you have the same end goal. So yes, yeah. So, and are you collaborating here? I heard that something about HP, some sort of collaboration there. Yeah. Yeah, so essentially uh, our final product, which is, the, is the, the prosthetic socket, the low limb prosthetic socket, is uh, 3D printed and we were actually the first company in the world to uh, produce definitive sockets using 3D printing. And because nobody believed us, we actually then went out and regulated them as medical devices. And ISO certified. And ISO certified. Um, having done that, we then uh, discovered that there was a better technology than the one we have been using, and that's uh, HP's technology. So we are working with them to bring their multi-jet fusion technology to the prosthetic sockets, and we're the first to do that. So in terms of the socket then, you said it was a definitive socket. So you mean you, you, you have it printed from a scan? Yeah. So basically we took the process that was usually plaster casting and a manual process for the prosthetist or the technician, and instead gave the tools so that you can 3D scan the limb and then we developed software so that everything that was done manually can be done in the software, very repeatable and uh, easy to use. And then at the end, order, and we deliver the socket back within a few days. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So how do you make it, how do you know it's strong enough then? We, um, we've been asked that question many times from the, the beginning. Yeah. Um, the easiest way is to prove it. Yeah. Um, we, were, we use the word robust a lot within the company. And Did you say robust then? Robust, okay, robust. Yeah. exactly. And um, to prove it, we take it through uh, ISO certification. Uh, so we test it to 3 million cycles. Yep. Um, you know, similar to the way uh, sofas are tested, just pump, oh, pump, Oh, yes, pump. So, so have you seen that? Yeah, yeah. so uh, 3 million cycles, which is equivalent to 3 years walking. Yep. Um, and then it gets uh, rated for a certain weight category. So our sockets, we, we, which we uh, print with the uh, MJF technology, are now rated for limb wearers up to 125 kilos. Mm. Oh, very good. Yeah. yeah. So they're really strong yeah. and uh, quite a, a, an exciting time then well, for you. And I've been working on on these prosthetic sockets since 2014, so I can personally vouch that they're very strong and very comfortable and nice to okay. use. So. What, which one then is that? So, actually, this one, my transibule, that's also a new HP socket. And here we have a, also my new transfemoral that is about to be released, where we have flexible on the top and then rigid on the side. Oh, can you squish that again oh, so yeah. we can see it? Look at that. And that's 3D printed? Yeah, that's 3D printed, yeah. That's really clever, and, isn't it? And that's, again, that's 125 kilo full ISO. Okay, I so, haven't seen that before. That's yeah. really good. Okay. So we basically have replaced the 
a carbon fiber frame with a rubber inner socket with just a one time print with uh, different thicknesses yeah. in, the, in the socket. So the different thicknesses, so that it's squishy in some places yeah. and not in others. Oh, I, and our, our members would like to know about that, I think. And by the way, that I had one of these rigid outside and uh, soft in, uh, inside sockets before, and this is 800 grams lighter than that one. Oh, that's so, really good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's really good. So this, was the, 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 this side here was the first kind then that you designed, yep. is that right? No, this is also the new technology. Okay. Yeah. It's a different well, this is a prototype. Yeah. yeah. Um, because the um, with the MJF technology, it's much easier to post process. So we will now come with different colours of sockets, because we have also learned that uh, um, uh, let's say aesthetics, of course, yeah. is okay. important also for the end users. I think yeah. your members are also telling us that. Yeah. So we want to come with interesting designs and, and designs selected yeah. by the end user. Yeah. Okay. So, that's Everything very good. from skin colour to yeah. fancy flashing. Okay then. Yeah. So we've seen quite a bit of 3D printing, but that does seem yeah. quite different actually. Okay. Yeah. Maybe one of the, the things to mention is we said that mm. this is a uh, definitive socket. Mm. Um, and the it basically takes away the need for the check socket, which a lot of prosthetists are using to get to the final socket. Yeah. Um, one of the advantages of this particular socket, it is actually heat adjustable. So when you get the definitive socket, if it's not quite right, you can heat adjust it. So there is no need for a check socket anymore. That makes it much com more convenient for the user. In fact, they literally only have to come to the clinic twice. Once for okay. the scan yeah. and the rectification, and once for the fitting. Okay. So how, how does the user um, get involved in, in, in choosing what kind of socket they want or what kind of thing they'd like? So actually one of the nice things is that a lot of the rectification of the socket now has moved out of the workshop and can be done directly with the patient. So for example after doing the scan often the prosthetist can sit directly with the patient and on screen with them look at the scan of their leg and together say oh yes do you have any concerns here oh maybe i should relieve this area and because then you're directly involved with that process in the end the socket that you get you know that you're going to be quite comfortable with and we're seeing it's very nice to be involved in that process and then you feel much happier generally with the result that you get as well oh that's super so thanks very much. It's great to talk to you today. We're all uh, excited by this Congress and we're looking forward to, to seeing what exciting new things you're, you've got under your, your hats. <laughs> and likewise. Okay, yeah, it's likewise. nice to speak yeah. to no, you. And we look forward to working with IC2. Yeah. Yeah. Use a voice, doesn't matter what the industry drives the industry forward. So well done. Okay. You're doing great work. Yeah. Oh, so really thank you. Appreciate your time. Okay, thanks. Bye.